What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another interesting Photoshop tutorial. My name is Wally and today we'll be looking at the difference between 8-bit depth and 16-bit depth. Without no delay, let's get into it. Did you know that when you take a picture, you're creating a grid of pixels? This pixel comes with a particular color and this color is represented by a number. A bit depth, which is also known as bit color, simply refers to as the amount of color information that comes with your image or that is stored on your image. In digital photography, 0 is assigned to black and 1 is assigned to white. A 1-bit image comprises of two colors, which is black and white. An 8-bit is calculated as 2 exponent 8 exponent 3. I'm sure this might sound confusing, but it's just how the computer works. An 8-bit is calculated as 2 exponent 8 exponent 3, which simply means that when you multiply 2 by 2 in 8 places, you're going to get 256 possible colors for your red, green, and blue channel. Now, take 256, multiply by 256, multiply by 256. You have the sum of 16,777,216 colors for you to manipulate and play with while retouching. For a 16 bit, you have 2 exponent 16, exponent 3 which simply means that when you multiply 2 by 2 by 2 in 16 places, you have the total sum of 65,536 possible colors for your red, green, and blue. Now, when you take this 65,536 multiplied by another 65,536 multiplied by another 65,536, you have the total sum of 281 3 trillion. What? Are you telling me the truth? Yeah, 281 trillion. I'm sure the question would be, which one is the best? Now, you should note that when you shoot on JPEG format, you are automatically creating an 8-bit image. So you are limited to 16,777,216 possible colors for you to manipulate or play with while retouching. But when you shoot on raw format, you're actually shooting at the full resolution so you can enjoy and play with more colors while retouching. I'm sure the next question will be, why can't I take an 8-bit image and convert it in 16-bit workspace? When you take an 8-bit into a 16-bit, it doesn't change anything. You are still restricted to that 16,777,216 possible colors to play with and manipulate while retouching. As research has shown that the human eye can only distinguish about 10 million colors. So why do we need extra millions or even trillion? The major problem of working in an 8-bit is called banding. You start noticing banding or artifact the moment you start applying different adjustment layers and filters. Compared to a 16-bit where we have trillions of colors to play with and manipulate. So when we push in our curves there and there or even apply filters, we barely notice those bandings. I'll take you to Photoshop where we can explain this better and make it more practical. What's up guys? Here we are in Photoshop and quickly I want to show you the difference between the 8-bit and 16-bit um, depth. It's very easy. Um, I'm just gonna show you. This is um, some pictures I took in the streets of Lagos. Um, so I just brought my camera and this guy here just uh, was vibing with me and I took a few pictures and this um, lonely bed. So what I did was to take the pictures in JPEG and RAW format. So here is the JPEG. As you can see, JPEG and we have um, the RAW format. We have one JPEG as, as well. So basically, if you notice, you see that even by swiping like just looking at the raw picture and jpeg there's a difference like in terms of the color presentation looking washed out and compared to the raw you can see that the colors are coming out i haven't graded this picture at all so um let's just do something by just applying some adjustment layer let's say i want to brighten this up like let's expose the 
shadows and i'll apply the same adjustment layer on the raw picture so let me zoom in and now we'll create another adjustment layer and try to bring back um, the exposure down let's add some curves okay so what i'll do now is just copy these three layers um, and paste it on this raw copy two so let's zoom in um, we are editing this in 16 bit channel and this one is on 8 bit channel putting these two pictures side by side shows that the 16 bit is capable of taking in more colors than the jpeg picture which is 8 bit if you zoom in into this shadow area you start noticing what we call banding and on the other side where we have the raw and in 16 bits you see that the transition of colors are still very okay compared to what we have here you can see that some colors are already from here and this is something you definitely want to uh, avoid most of the time while you're retouching so um when i change my 8 bit to 16 bits let's see if anything will happen you can see nothing actually changed okay let's look at another example all right so let's try the same thing out for this image let's just um increase our brightness here and create another one and try to bring it down back okay let's zoom in um i'm gonna add some curves okay so um let me group this and copy let's paste it on the raw picture as well okay so i'm gonna put them side by side look at these two images with the same adjustment layer applied and on this side where we have the raw picture and when we zoom in you still notice that the details are very much intact compared to the jpeg which is on 8 bit depth you start noticing that bandings are beginning to um, form and you see you see those colors coming out this is what we call banding or you call it artifacts and all of that so um another example to show you here is towards the side look at this you see the difference this is to show you that the 16 bit depth can actually take in or accommodate more colors than the 8 bit so in my opinion i would recommend that you shoot on raw format and edit your pictures in 16 bit depth all right let me show you quickly how you can change the bit depth while retouching or before retouching once you have your image loaded in camera raw simply go to this down part where you have adobe rgb you see beside the adobe rgb by default probably yours should be on 8 bit so click on it come to this part of the tab that says depth now click inside and change it from 8 bit to 16 bit then you can proceed with your adjustment then open in photoshop you can also change your bit depth in photoshop simply go to image mode then change it to 16 bit and that will be all hope you enjoyed today's video if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up share and also subscribe don't forget to turn on your notification bell so as to be updated when i drop a new video if you have any question please drop them in the comment section as i'll be glad to answer them and see you in the next video see you in the next video